Hi, my name is Jill Patel and in this video, I will tell you the truth about Atlantis, also known as the Lost City or the Lost Empire. First, I will tell you the information that was given by Dolores Cannon as per her research about the truth of Atlantis. Dolores said that Atlantis was not just a city or a continent, it was the whole world's name. The whole world during that time was called Atlantis, and also during Atlantis, some cities and parts of the world were highly advanced, and there were also other places on Earth that were primitive, like in jungles. The scientists and the advanced people were located in the city, which was called the Crystal City. The civilization of Atlantis went on for thousands of years, they used crystals to power everything, and it was used in the houses to heat, cook, and even used for the lights. All they had to do was touch the wall, and the whole wall would light up, and the light would go softer or brighter. Even their flying cars, which were more like hovercrafts, were powered by crystals. So the whole city was basically powered by crystals. They even succeeded at eliminating all illnesses. They had a machine that used colors to do this. The person would sit under the different colors and the color would actually heal them. So they even learned how to use colors and sounds to heal people. And due to this lifestyle and technology, the bodies would not age as fast, which would let the people there stay young for a very long time. By using their minds, they were able to do almost anything. They could levitate objects, even heavy blocks of stones, and this is how they built things. They could fold the stone into any shape they wanted. According to Dolores, this is how the great ancient structures of the world were built. They were built by the survivors of Atlantis. However, the average person during that time didn't know that the scientists were experimenting more and more with crystals and they were doing things that they should not be doing. The reason Atlantis went down is because they violated the laws of nature. They began combining animals and humans. They were experimenting at first and they would also use them as servants and laborers in their society. They were combining the genes and cells to create half man, half animal beings. Dolores also said that the legends of the half man, half animals like the centaurs and mermaids are all based on facts. They originated with what was being done in Atlantis through their experiments. Dolores was told through her direct communication with higher dimensional beings that we must all know this because our scientists of today are starting to do the same thing and it cannot be allowed. When the scientists were doing this in Atlantis, they could have almost created a disease through the combination of the genetics which could have spread through the people and caused a disaster. So we must know this because it is not a wise thing to repeat the same mistakes. Scientists today are doing similar experiments on pigs to grow organs in the pigs and transplant it into humans. So due to this, Dolores was told she must write this in her book to warn today's society. Another thing that caused Atlantis's destruction was the misuse of the crystal power. They wanted more and more power, so they began beaming them down into the center of the earth to gain more power. This ended up causing a catastrophe that eventually set off tidal waves and earthquakes and caused the destruction of Atlantis by water. Huge waves took over and destroyed everything. Some of the people died in these waves, however, some survived. The ones that survived were knowledgeable and positive people that were trying to save what they could. They wanted to preserve the crystals, scrolls, and information that they had. They escaped in crafts that were like gigantic round bubbles. The crafts were half in and half out of the water, which they were able to propel to get out of there before the tidal waves and the earthquakes hit. 
They knew what was coming, so they were able to salvage what they could. Some of these people ended up in Egypt and in South America. They brought their knowledge with them and they built the pyramids and other monuments. This knowledge remained in society for a while where they could pass it down. However, eventually it became distorted and faded away. Dolores was told that there are people alive today that were alive during the time of Atlantis. They have reincarnated again to make sure that the destruction does not happen again. Dolores was also told that you can pay back as much karma by being here in this one lifetime in today's time as it would normally take you 10 lifetimes to pay back. Dolores was also told about the truth of the Bermuda Triangle. She said that one of the temples or buildings from Atlantis is buried deep down in the water and in the sand. This particular building was used for time travel and for going between dimensions, which was powered by gigantic crystals. So Dolores was told that this particular building is still partially functioning and it was never totally shut down by the disaster. And due to this, any plane or boat in that vicinity gets zapped into another dimension as that was the purpose of the machine, which is why this happens sporadically in the Bermuda Triangle and planes and boats go missing there. Now I will give you even more information about the truth of Atlantis as per the supreme divine knowledge given by Bapuji Dashit Pai Patel. Bapuji said that yes, it is very true that civilizations like Atlantis used to exist. It existed about 500,000 years ago and existed even before that. So the earth has periods of time that we call as the Golden Age, the Silver Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. The Golden Age is the best period on earth and is the longest. Right now we are currently in the Iron Age, which is when the earth is in its worst phase. Civilizations like Atlantis used to exist in the Golden Age and in the Silver Age. The people in the times of the Silver Age would even create cities on top of the oceans and they wouldn't even need land. There were even civilizations in the North and South Poles. If they were to dig up the North and South Poles today, they would even be able to find remnants of ancient civilizations buried deep, deep down. Even in the Bronze Age, there were many civilizations like this. In the civilization of Atlantis, they had such soul power that they would use crystals by filling it up with power and would then use the crystals to power everything. So up till the end of the Bronze Age, everything would run on the soul's power. Mostly all of this existed in the Golden Age and in the Silver Age. Everything would be done through the power of the mind and thoughts. Even the cars or vehicles would fly and were made of supreme elements and of supreme wind. The people could simply think and their vehicle would be created and manifested physically in front of them. And when the humans would sit inside the vehicle, their bodies would convert into supreme wind element and then the vehicle would fly. It would fly through the power and speed of their thoughts. The people of these civilizations, like in the Golden Age and in the Silver Age, could even fly themselves because the five physical elements of their bodies at that time were very light. The five physical elements are water, air, ether, fire, and earth. These five elements make up our human body. So since the five physical elements during that time were very light, the water and earth elements of their bodies were also very, very light, which enabled them to do such things. To know even more about the reality of mysteries of the earth, the solar system, the galaxy, the universe, the multiverse, and beyond, please stay tuned and check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you would like to gain more knowledge on topics like these, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Please like, comment and share this video. Also, check out Papuji's channel. The link is in the description box below. Also, click on the i button for more related videos and please also click the bell icon next to the subscribe button for notifications to keep yourself updated with my new videos. And please follow my Instagram at spiritualjillpatel. Thank you, Param Shanti.